Good morning everybody and welcome to my humble abode once again. At the end of episode 45, I had a, a cr I showed you a crash and, for, and with the help of the some people in the support group, uh, I think it was, I can't remember exactly, was it Coef H or something like that, I found out what it was. And it's to do with this travel anchor here. Because this travel anchor was very close to this um, item duct with thermal dynamics, what was happening is when I put this cover down here, take it up quickly and show you. As soon as I selected the cover, it crashed, and because it was the the travel anchor was here and the item duct was cover was here, it caused the crash. Moving it out of the way, everything's fine. So I don't. I can now cover these things up. Fortunately, I can't cover up uh, Rednet energy cables. Very useful, but you can't hide them, which is a bit of a pain. Um, and here we have the this diesel generator. What I've been doing is I've basically powering these energy cells here. The energy cells drives the industrial squeezer and the fermenter, which takes apples. Actually, I can put some more apples in there. And as it uses that, you come into here, we take the refinery, that uses that fuel, and then it puts the fuel into the generator, and you switch the generator on, which is on. It'll power up these items. I think it's already on. It is. It only takes energy when it's needed, and I've told this one here not. Actually, it's set to off. It becomes a bit of um. What's the word I'm looking for? But as it draws power from here, then it uses that fuel, and it then draws more power to to make the fuel. So what I tend to do with this is to turn this side off. Which I think it's this one here. If I turn it on to input, you hear the generator turn on, and the fuel and it will go up. So I'll let it go up to the top and then I turn it back off again. And it's actually quite nice. I like the generator, it's sort of It's the highest highest tier of their immersive engineering stuff. Right, there we go. Nearly finished. basically turn it off. It doesn't accept any more power. Of course these now start to produce, uh, use power to produce more plant oil and what's the other one called? Ethanol. And these go into the refi into this refinery and make fuel. And of course it ends up running all the time if you don't do it right. And of course this capacitor bank's basically just here to charge up the sword of Avon which is in the autonomous activator here. Unfortunately, I've got something wrong with this configuration because I cannot get a f laser to extract it. Sometimes it's not 100% empty. This one's 156 and this one's empty completely. But when I do it, when I want to e extract it from here, even though it's always active and it's a full sword, it never actually extracts, puts it back again. I don't know why. So, what I also did is at the end of the last episode, I built this quant um, quantum armor suit. Or built, probably not the right word really. I made this quantum armor. I also made a lightning rod here. The idea of the lightning rod is supposed to power up the this resident energy cell, which I want to then feed that into here. And what I'm going to demonstrate now is one of the features of the. Um, uh, quantum suit and that's here. Here we have a sludge boiler. It's actually not running. I wonder why not. There we go. It's just running now. I sped that. Too soon didn't I? And it's uh, got plenty of sludge in there and I get poisoned. But because I've got the quantum suit armour on, mainly the head uh, which is it? Well, actually I won't do it too close to that and get out of the way a bit. Mainly the helmet. The helmet's got on it um, 
extra protection so when you assemble it let's see if I can find the recipe for that um, does that work with, with the wireless terminal no it doesn't it's not a crafting terminal is it we also let's have a look inside I'll do that afterwards so what you can do with this is it's also got scuba properties and it's got night vision and it's got a heads up display and the heads up display you can see on the top left hand corner and at the moment it's just set to well I'm using the, the, the wings but I'll turn the wings off and I'll go down fairly quickly then I'll fall into the water and normally in a few seconds you drown and start to drown but with this one if I just bring up my uh, oh I've got it now it's here get my clipboard to be honest with you I can never remember these controls yet so the heads up display is alt and x and night vision is alt and m so let's put alt and night vision on alt and m and you can see now I can start to see underwater and on the heads up display which you can also see it says that I've got um, night night vision enabled it's just a little icon just to the right hand side of the helmet what you can also do with it, this is you do um, alternate you can turn extended heads up display and that shows you items about uh, information about what you're carrying now I don't know if I take this out of here and just look at it with for example gravel does it show me anything about information about gravel no not really but if I pick up the nano saber, it shows me how much power I've got in it. If I pick up my Alimai pickaxe, it shows you what's uh, what its properties are. So it tells you the mining level, speed, and all the rest of it. And if you hold down the control, it shows you. The all you see, basically, you can see all of that, which you can normally see anyway. And as you see, it, what it does, it will use power while I'm underwater. So this 99% will go down. But you can also run even underwater, and the way you run with the um, this armor, you get to a flat bit like this. You press W W twice, and there you go. We isn't that fun? And there we have something more interesting. How the hell has that happened? Isn't that weird? And then we get mobs now. Of course, the nice thing about this armor here, let's put the suit on. So you can hit me, and doesn't, I don't take any damage at all. Uses a bit of power. Let's get rid of them. Oh, what's that? Tin Aubrey. Don't really need Tin Aubrey. Take it anyway. So now I've got to get it out of here. Uh huh. I suppose the easiest way to get out of here is up by the, the railway tracks. I don't seem to go nowhere. How's it that? Really weird, isn't it? You got somewhere you go nowhere. And I shouldn't be too far away from base, so let's have a look. Number one. 181 metres too far away. Okay, we'll just go up through the water again. Ah, yes, that's the next thing. So, Control M puts a jetpack on, and you'll see that jetpacks is lit up with a red icon. And that basically means in the middle it's got the hover mode on. So to get the hover mode off, you control space and M, it turns the hover mode off. Now, because I've got night vision enabled, if I do control and M, what is it? No, oh, that's stage disabled. Control, uh, alt and M, it turns the night, night vision disabled. So let's just put this back on again. I'll fly normally. You'll see, you can see all sorts of. Actually, this is rather weird. To be seeing under the water better than I should be able to. Ah, that's bit. Ah, the night vision has gone off. So, lots of things with the suits. Very expensive, of course, to build. Quite a long. Takes quite a lot of time to make all this iridium ore. Uses a lot of power. Yeah, basically, it was making yuya matter from these five. Or oh, no, I can't count. Can I? How many have you got there? Ten. Advanced solar panels, and they're just basically running all the time. And they generate EU even at night, so this is generating one EU at the moment. 
And during the day, of course, it'll generate less. And here we have got oh, I've got a breeder, and in the breeder I've got some carrots. The carrots will basically cause the pigs to breed. I can show you that. That's the, oh, the veterinary station that keeps the, the animals healthy, and it takes. Um, what does it take? It just takes uh, syringes, and you can do put stuff in the syringes. So at the moment I've got in. I had apple juice. I haven't got any apples with me. Hold on a second. I think I'm not out of range, am I? Let's go over here. Yes, I am out of range. I'm still out of range. I haven't got the very. There we go. Let's just take an apple. I don't want to take three apples. I've got three syringes. What you do is you take your syringes out and you just put an apple with your syringes. Then it fills the syringe up with a health syringe. I don't know if you can use a carrot or anything like that. No. So in these syringes, you can then put these syringes in here, and it puts them into the animals. Eventually, I don't know what the criteria for that is. If we bring the pigs to us here, they should start. If we get some more of them, if we get near to the breeder, oh, it's not working. Oh. It should do it itself automatically. I wonder if we got. There we go, one baby pig. And that one's... And it works generally automatically, I don't have to do anything with it. And in here we get uh, the wool from that. Here, and we've got a ranger here. The ranger takes milk uh, from the cows and wool from the sheep, as you can see. Save shearing sheep. And this basically breeds soup. So what I'd do is put some wheat in there and I'll get some... Uh, or cows and sheep, which I've got plenty of, I don't need any more of those. And down here we've got this, these sewage drains. And the sewage drains are basically sewers. Basically feed the farm with um, fertiliser. Right, I'm getting a bit distracted, a bit off my chat track here now. So let's have a look. What did I show you? Let's have a look. Um, Let's get my book again, my clipboard. So we've looked at the quantum suit. We've looked at the heads up display. We've done flying and hovering. So that's control M. And the hover mode is control space and then pressing M. Night vision we've also looked at. Travel anchor crash. Magic. No, we haven't looked at that one. And the lightning rod. No. The lightning rod's also more interesting when it's raining and it's not raining at the moment and basically it's here what i'm hoping for is i wonder i wonder if that's what i've done let me get my hammer If you, you right click on these things, it changes the side, doesn't it? Let me just dig this thing up. Because here you have outputs from the lightning rod base. Very similar to the uh, um, generator, the diesel generator. So what have I got here? Nothing useful, that's good. I um, should be arranged from here, so let's just... Let's just take something that's easy. Dirt, for instance. Okay, got plenty of dirt. Let's put dirt down here. And another one, so we can see what's happening. Right, and then on top of that, I'm going to put that HV capacitor. What I'm finding is that it's actually not working anymore. It did work, first of all, fine. And the lightning was being charged up. Right. 
Let's get rid of these. So, of course, when you do, you right click on these and it changes the side. The blue is the input, it's the standard color from all the other machines, whether it's sender IO or thermal expansion, you get blue. If you click it a second time, then you get orange, which is output. If I shift click it, it should change the other side. So that's now orange. Go down, shift click it again. Now it's disabled. Yes, that's correct. Bit of a pain because you can't see exactly what. And again, it should now be blue. Now it's blue. So what I want to do is I want to have this side here blue, which it is. Okay. So if I simply dis I make sure that all these sides are disabled, then you know that the first click is blue after a disabled side. All right. Because I'm not sure which direction it's going to go in. Yeah, so everything's blue now. So let's just, uh, everything's off except for the top. We don't really care about that one. So we can see that anyway. So, right, let's just dig this up. That was probably a bit excessive. So if I now put this down here. It should be connected. But it's actually difficult to know. So what we'll do is we'll leave it. I'll put the connector. Um, connector I haven't got with me. I should have, because I just broke it a while ago. Um, yes, there it is. I'll put the connector on the top. Just press Shift and click, so you just put it on the top. So at the moment, there's no outputs and there's no inputs. So the next lightning strike should charge this up. Actually, it has been charged up, so it must have been right. Because what's happening is they should come into here, but I don't think this is getting filled up at all, which is a bit weird. Maybe it's because I've got this is somehow or other they're feeding. These are all set to outputs orange. So, I don't know. Maybe I haven't got a loop, have I? Should come in here. Go across here and go to the only output. This is blue again, so that's its input. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't know what I can do. Is this? Let's just dig this one away and then leave it. So this won't go up at all, but these will should therefore go up. This has got two, this has got two, this has got two, and I'm just falling down the side. And this has got ooh, 1.3 million, isn't it? So I'll leave it, see what happens. If they all get charged up, we know everything's set up right. But I'm not completely sure about how to get that to there. With, with the end, with the. Oh, Wire relays, you can join multiple cables together, but I presume it's not a loop. We'll see. Anyway, for now, I think that's it. Until next time, bye for now.